Hello and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and in today's episode we're going to be replacing the Vano solenoids on my 2006 BMW E90 330xi with the N52 engine. This is part number two in my BMW maintenance series and in today's episode I'm going to show you everything you need to know about changing the Vano solenoids in your BMW. It's not as hard or as scary as you might think so let's go ahead and get started. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at what tools you're going to need. You actually don't need very much for this job. First of all, you're going to need a Torx T20, uh, either a screwdriver or, in my case, I'm using a socket. Uh, but in any case, you're going to need a Torx T20. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and then a flathead screwdriver. I'll show you what that's for in a little while. Flashlight will certainly make things easier so you can see down into the depths of your engine bay. And then I'm also going to be using a couple of rags and some wipe rags. And then of course you're going to need your two new Vano solenoids. The Vano solenoids are right here on the front of your engine. There's two of them, they're actually identical, and they just bolt right into the front of the engine. Now before you get started, you're going to want to go ahead and take off your engine cover, which I've already done. If you want to see how to do that, go ahead and watch part one of my BMW maintenance series. I'll go ahead and link that above. But you're going to want to take off that top cover to make things easier, which I've already done. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and take off uh, this portion of the air intake. Uh, it's not an absolute requirement, but it'll sure make your life a lot easier uh, in cramped quarters if you go ahead and take that out. So I'm going to take that off. To do that, it's very simple. You just need a T20 Torx and take out two bolts. Those come out and then this will lift off. And then the only thing we're going to use that flathead screwdriver for is to go ahead and pry this gently away from the air box. So I'll go ahead and get started with that and then we'll get right into removing the Vano solenoids. All right, now that I've taken this portion of the air intake off, you can see I've got a little bit more space to work with here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and set these rags uh, down inside here. Now there's two 10 millimeter bolts, uh, you can't see them right now, but one each that hold these solenoids in, and I don't wanna lose those down in the engine bay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set these rags in there uh, so that hopefully uh, they'll catch them if they should fall. And also, these are uh, connected directly into um, the upper end of your engine, so there's a lot of oil in there. So oil could drip out, so this will help catch any oil that might spill out as well. All right, now that we have the rag in place, you can see uh, that we have a 10 millimeter bolt holding each of these in, and of course there is a connector to it as well. So I'll go ahead and uh, remove the connector and take out one solenoid at a time by removing that 10 millimeter bolt. All right, and with just a moment or two's worth of work, I have the top Vano solenoid pulled out. Uh, this is the old one that I just removed from the engine, and this is a brand new one right here. You can see this one is considerably nastier uh, than the new one. Now, a couple of things uh, to tell you. Uh, first of all, you might find it a little easier to take, get to that 10 millimeter bolt if you uh, use a little bitty uh, extension. It's a little bit of a lip there on the uh, valve cover, so it might make it a little easier to get past that if you use a short extension. You also might find that using that flathead screwdriver again uh, will help you pop the connector off the end of the solenoid. Now there are two gaskets that are on this thing, or an O-ring and a gasket right here, uh, and the new one does come with uh, new gaskets, so you don't have to worry about uh, swapping those over. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and clean up the front of the engine so it's nice and clean before I put that new one in, and then it's just the reverse of pulling the old one out. All right, got the second one out. Comes out just the same as the first one. By the way, these are identical. The top and bottom are interchangeable. They're the same exact part. Uh, so when you do this, order two of these. 
And while we're talking about ordering them, I just want to let you know that I order my parts for my BMW primarily from FCP Euro. I'll put a link in the description below, uh, but FCP Euro provides awesome parts. They provide OEM and high quality aftermarket uh, replacement parts, and all of their parts are covered by a lifetime warranty. That's both on parts like these, uh, as well as on consumables like brake pads, oil, things like that. If you ever have a problem or if you uh, need to replace it for any reason, you send the part back and they'll send you a new one free of charge. So I highly recommend FCP Euro. You should check them out at the link below. These parts aren't terribly expensive, so if you're having codes that are thrown by uh, Vanos issues, or if you're starting to have uh, kind of jumpy um, RPM there at idle, uh, or even while you're driving, then there's a likely chance that your Vanos is at fault. In my case, I did not have any codes for Vanos, but I did have uh, the erratic uh, RPM. So I've gone ahead and replaced mine. This is also good preventative. I have no idea how old these are. This car has 183,000 miles on it. So it is good preventative maintenance to go ahead and replace these parts. All right, here you can see that I've replaced the top one already. I've cleaned up the uh, slot for the bottom Vano solenoid, so I'm ready to go ahead and put that second one in, get it all connected up, and then test the car, make sure everything's working properly before I put everything back together. All right, now that we've got our new Vano solenoids installed and everything hooked back up, I'm gonna go ahead and test start the car, make sure everything's running properly, and then we'll finish buttoning everything up. All right, before I button it up, just checking to make sure I don't see any oil leaks here from our freshly installed Vano solenoids. And as far as I can tell, everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and button up the engine. Alright, that's going to be just about it for this one. I did want to add though before we end that some people do try to clean their Vano solenoids. Uh, they'll take them out just exactly the same way we just did and using brake cleaner or, or uh, carb cleaner or something like that, uh, they'll clean them up real well and reinstall them. Um, I've heard that that can buy you a little time, so if you don't have the money right now to replace those solenoids, uh, you might go ahead and give that a try for the cost of a can of uh, cleaner. Uh, you might buy a little more time out of it, but it should be considered a short-term solution. Ultimately, if your solenoids are starting to get gummed up and go bad, you probably ought to just go ahead and replace them. They're not that expensive, and it is well worth the investment to keep your BMW running as well as possible. All right, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you for joining me. If you didn't see part one of the BMW maintenance series, I encourage you to go ahead and watch that and there will be more maintenance videos coming as well. In addition to doing maintenance, if this is your first video, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because not only do I do maintenance, but I've got videos on other types of work as well, including my favorite type of work, which is salvage car rebuilds. If you like what you've seen today, I encourage you please to go ahead and like and comment below. And if you're not already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that as well. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the links below where you can see photos and updates before they come out on YouTube. Additionally, there are Amazon links below in the description to a lot of the tools and parts that I've used in this video and other videos as well. There are affiliate links, so if you follow those links and purchase something on Amazon, I will get a few cents out of that and I appreciate your support in that way. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.
Hello and welcome to another. And today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about changing the Van Ois, but it should be considered a short term. The Van Ois.